The former White House doctor who raved about Donald Trump's supposed good health is now spreading conspiracy theories about the new coronavirus variant known as Omicron. Now this is a Ronnie Jackson, who is no longer a White House doctor. In fact, he is a member of Congress out of Texas. And he said this, here comes the MEV, the midterm election variant. They need a reason to push unsolicited nationwide mail-in ballots. Democrats will do anything to cheat during an election, but we're not going to let them. So what Ronnie Jackson is claiming there is that the New coronavirus variant, the one that the World Health Organization is concerned about, is just a made up thing meant to help Democrats maintain their position of power. Because Jenk, if anyone knows anything about the Democratic Party, it would be us. And we have certainly witnessed firsthand just how calculating and savvy and strategic the Democratic Party really is. I mean, so strategic, so strategic that they would actually find a way to convince members of the World Health Organization and government officials in other countries to play along with this ruse, with this lie about the new coronavirus variant. Well, there's two hilarious and absurd parts of that that really shows you how like, out of their minds, the Republican Party has become. And again, you know, if you think mainstream media is tough on the Trump supporters, etc., no, they're not nearly tough enough when it comes to the politicians and the leaders in the right wing. So, number one, have you met anyone in the Democratic Party? They're serial bunglers. The idea that Joe Biden, who can't figure out how to get Joe Manchin to like agree to the simplest things, who can't pass voting rights, even though it's not only going to endanger democracy in America, but his own party. I mean, it's the mo- it's the easiest thing in the world. They can't figure out how to pass things that have an 88% approval rating. <laughs> you think they're doing global conspiracies and launching COVID variants? <laughs> Man, you're Estimation of the Democratic Party is so much larger than ours. The Democratic yeah. Party is filled with nincompoops and, and bunglers who couldn't do any of this, who couldn't do 1% of this. But Anna, there's a second part that it reveals here. Look guys, think about it. Doctors in and scientists in South Africa discovered this. And it's also in Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Botswana, etc. right? Now it's in the Portugal soccer players national team, a, a game had to be shut down. You think they're all lying or they're all on Joe Biden's team? Like a doctor in South Africa and a Portuguese soccer player are like- Are you kidding me, Cenk? The Portuguese soccer team is all about Biden. I mean, they (laughs) worship him. They do a little prayer to Biden right before every match. What are you talking about? Yeah, Oh, that ole ole, that's also been misinterpreted. That's (laughs) Joe. You tried, you tried. No, I mean, it's, it's obviously incredibly dumb to, to even float this idea, but Ronnie Jackson can't help himself. And the conspiracy theory, of course, was repeated on other media outlets, right wing media outlets like Fox News. So here is Fox and Friends floating the same conspiracy theory, essentially. Let's watch. The answer is more lockdowns, more lockdowns, more fear. Um, and therefore, he doesn't have to do his job of fixing the supply chain because we'll just keep this whole thing going. It's yeah. always a new variant. And you can always you'll count on a variant about every October, every yeah. two years. <laughs> oh, I think it's going to, yep. Yeah. You know, you're probably right. I mean, it, however, they could speed up. Uh, the variants <laughs> could come more quickly. Uh, and the we're going to need a new uh, variant here. I mean, I, that argument doesn't even really make any sense, right? No. So. I know, I know. I I mean, I feel like I'm wasting my time even having to explain it. But anyway, uh, we've got more video, but Cenk, why don't you uh, respond to that? Yeah, so okay, look, I don't know about all Republican voters and supporters, although it's probably pretty close. But now almost every Republican so-called leader, politician, uh, you know, news person, whatever it is, they're all nuts. They just, they've all lost their minds. I mean, Ronnie Jackson was a doctor. He was a White House doctor. 
So when he came out and said that Trump was in the best physical shape that anybody's ever seen, and that he was 6'3 and 239 pounds, that just, that's just insane. <laughs> and, and when they asked him like, why do you think his mental health is that good and his physical health is that good? And he said, oh, his mental health, whoa, sharpest guy. Oh, look, okay. And he's like, oh, it's because of genetics. He has really good genetics. Okay, so I, but I thought at the time, Anna, I'm like, I, he's sweaty and they call him the candy man because you have how much like uh, it, drugs he passes out <laughs> apparently, right? At the White House, you didn't, yeah, that's. Ryan I didn't Jackson's know about that. Candy man, Fun. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, <laughs> but I thought he's a I guess doctor. he had some redeeming qualities that I just didn't know about. Yeah, well, it depends. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, but I thought he's a doctor, right? I mean, so. I don't know, is there any chance that Trump actually weighs 239 pounds, right? He seems like he weighs a lot more, but I'm, you know, I don't know, he's a doctor. Now you look at what he's saying. Oh, no, 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 they've all lost their minds. It doesn't matter what their profession is. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And here comes Fox and Friends of course, oh yeah, around election time, around October. Dude, we're in November, the election is next year. That would be October of next year. It almost couldn't be any further away. <laughs> the Democrats can't even get a voting rights bill passed to counteract the voter suppression laws that were passed in red states like Texas and Florida and Georgia. I bring that up because like they still control Congress and they're still not able to pass legislation that helps them secure a political future. Right, not by cheating, but just by protecting our democratic process to ensure that the political opponents don't rig the system or game the system to their advantage. They can't even do that. They can't even do that. So the idea that they're somehow tactful enough to pull off this global conspiracy just so they maintain maintain power is absolutely ridiculous. But guys, I saved the best for last because my favorite moment in regard to this story did in fact happen on Fox and Friends. It was a different panel, but I just want you to pay close attention to that delicious tension between Steve Ducey and Brian Kilmeade. Let's watch. Should we expect to be seeing more lockdowns again, new lockdowns, more mandates? You know, I don't know, George, it's really too early to say. We just really need to, as I've said so often, Prepare for the worst. Let's see what the information that we're getting in real time tells us. And we'll make decisions based on the science and the evidence the way we always do. But you want to be prepared to do anything and everything. So you got to be prepared and we'll know more he's going to say uh, through the president later today uh, in two weeks. He should he, not be the lone voice, he has no credibility. He, this, we, is, this is terrible for the country. He was talking about science, um, it is, this is empirical science. <laughs> I just love that moment, cuz Steve Ducey's like, he was talking about science, this is, this is empirical science, shut your mouth. And uh, he continued talking, Ducey did, and Kill Me just looked so confused. In fact, let's go to that last video, not the one we just watched, but the one um, that really zooms in on Kill Me's face as uh, Ducey shuts him up. So this is terrible for the country. He was talking about science. Um, it is, this is empirical science. Two flights landed Friday in Amsterdam from South Africa. There were six. So rejected and so sad. <laughs> okay, so you know that's interesting. There, uh, I, you know, you almost never see Bert and Ernie fighting, mm -hmm. uh, and and so in that case, Ducey is, I think, getting frustrated with the rest of Fox there, and that's an interesting development because he's like, yeah, it's empirical science. Don't give me this nonsense about Fauci and I wonder what he did with Bill Gates and oh yeah, and they rigged it together with the scientists out of South Africa. Yeah, 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 that's the ticket, that's what happened. He's like, no dude, it's science, just shut up already about Fauci. And well, so- Yeah, look, I don't, I don't know what's going on with their relationship or what Ducey is really thinking. You can only guess based on um, the way they handled that interaction there. But listen, take a step back. Who isn't tired of COVID? 
Who doesn't want to get past it? Everyone in the country wants to get past it. I want to travel. I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to have to wear a mask anymore. I don't want to have to like worry about boosters every six months. Like we want to get to a place where life seems at least a little normal. And to be honest, the longer this goes on, I think the more of a mental toll it takes on the population. I think that's part of the reason why we're seeing people lose it in public, right? All these videos that come out of people just completely having meltdowns in public. I mean, that has escalated throughout the pandemic. And I think people are just desperate to go back to some form of normalcy. You can't do that if you have a pretty significant portion of our media spewing lies in, you know, in this effort to increase their ratings. It's just going to make this pandemic drag on and on and on. And that's what's happening right now. So I'm sure Ducey is just like, can we just, let's just get them the information that's accurate. This is our audience, by the way. These are people who we rely on for the ratings. How about we try to keep them alive by giving them real information? And <laughs> I guys, don't know, maybe that's what it's Yeah. Look, if you live in our world, the reality based world, it's hard to understand how much the Fox News of the world affect the rest of the country. So I read this account from a woman who's a verified on Twitter and has you know a decent sized following. I tell you that only because it shows you she's a real person, right? And her brother and her father believed that that it was all a hoax. And they both got COVID, of course they did, because if you don't take precautions, you're almost certainly gonna get it. And then the brother left the hospital and lied to her and, and convinced the dad earlier to, to not treat it and just stay at home. They both died. They died because they believed these insane conspiracy theories. And then people have debates about whether I should call them crazy. No, that's not the debate, that's not the debate. There's like literally thousands of people dying every week because they think Fox News is telling them the truth or Newsmax or OAN, etc. And they believe lunatics like so called Dr. Ronnie Jackson and other grifters online who are trying to sell them ivermectin or whatever else they're, they're doing. No, it's gonna get you killed if you listen to morons on Fox News and conservative media. They're lying to you for profit and even Ducey can't take it anymore. And he's just shutting down his co-host because he's probably frustrated at how many of their own viewers that they've killed with misinformation. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.